And what you're looking at here is my girl's desk with her computer. And what we're going to be doing today is replacing her monitor. This is not even a 1080 monitor. It's so old. It doesn't even have a refresh rate. I think it's 156 megahertz or something. I don't even know what that means. But I'll post up the stats for this monitor in a little bit. But right now she got some mouse, keyboard. I gave her a USB switch. And she's got a network switch for the TV above her. And whatever else she wants to plug into it. But we're going to be upgrading her to a 27 inch monitor from like a, I don't know what that is, 19? Who knows? But it's bigger, it's better. One millisecond refresh time. Only 60 hertz because she gave me a, a, a limit on how much to spend on her. That's it. But it's, uh, should be something good. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what we got. All right, here listed before you are about the only statistics or the data sheet that I could pull up for it. And it has a max pixel clocks of 156 megahertz. I'm not sure what that equates to, but it's a 20 inch panel it was a 19 20.1 so I was a little off but everything else it's pretty standard it's a 55 watt good stuff here I'll let you look at it a little bit and we'll continue on So we've taken it out the out the box, and this is what we have. We got a H. We got a what is this? Some type of cord. I forget. It's not DVI. We have a DVI cord here. Standardized power cord. audio cord because she has built-in speakers to it she wants to use them looks like part to the monitor stand HDMI cord 1.2 version all right and a product There's some of the base right there. And the screen itself. Oh my. Time to set it up. So as you can see, it's quite a bit larger. It's probably going to be brighter and it's going to have better response. So she's going to be sitting right in the center. So we're going to try and set it up for that spare monitor for her to use when she's online and needs to look something up. Yeah, I don't have a good uh, camera solution. Don't have a good camera solution, so I'm kind of using my cell phone. Looks like part of the... Yep, snaps onto the back more than likely. Has a few screws on it somewhere. We'll get it figured out. The base. I know some of y'all love this part. So hard to do this with one hand. Look at that. Oh, fail, fail, fail. Oh, yeah. There it goes. There it goes. Right there. We have attached that piece to the base. Just one little screw. And now, just clips on in there. Just slides on up in there. Like that. 
it slid in and clicked. There's a little button here to release it. If you ever want to take it back off. And look what I found. Found some more stuff. More plastic to just take on off. underneath we have a DVI HDMI and a display port underneath here along with the audio in and out on this side we got the power after unwrapping that's the dog's bed down there that's Herc right there he's helping me but oh yeah after unwrapping I found out this was a display port, not a HDMI. That foam around it had me messed up. But we're on the process of hooking it up. All right, we're going to start it up with just this monitor in there. See how it looks. So far, it looks really good. All right, we're logged in. Looks good. Now we're going to try ARC, see how it does. There we go. Sure, the light is not doing it justice, but it is beautiful or beautiful or whatever you want to call it. Oh, I like it. Oh yeah, it's moving along quite nicely. Shoot, yeah. All right, now time to hook up the other two. All right, we've got the second screen hooked up. It's not that loud. I mean, it's only two watt speaker or something. So we'll have to find a. She usually uses her headset anyways, her skull candy. But as of right now, it's working. There we have it. All three are working. And now the sound is playing through the TV, which is much louder. You can actually hear it now. So, she can either use her headset or the TV. And we're going to call this good. We're going to do some cable management, a little bit more setup, and then we'll bring you back for the final. And it's done. We got arc up. We got the light up. Desk looks clean. We got the Discord up, along with the hardware monitoring. Up top, we got... YouTube playing, we got Netflix playing, and up top would typically be Netflix, where I'm watching the movie and playing, and down here would be all the other stuff, and her main screen to play on, and if it's moving good, no real problems, yep, so we'll see if she likes it. And in behind, we got our, our stuff back here. Pretty clean, not too bad. Underneath, she's not going to kick anything or get her feet tangled up, so she's going to like that. A little bit of cord management, a little bundle over there, but it's out the way. Clean the area for her, put her feet up if she ever gets a foot rest. And now I gotta clean up. So, all right. Let's hope she enjoys it. Y'all have a good one. This has been Susie's new monitor install. So, if you like it, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I'll be putting out game videos and
hardware videos on this channel. We'll go from there. All right, see you. And one final thing before we go. I have the two monitor spec sheets pulled up. And we're just looking at it a little bit. Screen size, definitely bigger. It's a 2K screen, but I'm only running it at 1080 at 1K. Its refresh rate is set at 75 hertz in the computer. As you can see, response time, one millisecond. Still don't know how that converts to maximum pixel clock of 156 megahertz. No clue. I'll try to look it up. Maybe one of y'all can help me in the comments. It's uh, less power hungry at 33.6 watts compared to the 55 watts of the other one. But we're still using the other one, so we're not really saving any power. We're still using a little bit. As for the weight, me picking it up feels about, you know, a third less than the other monitor. It's an old boy, so it's got some weight to it. Got your connectivity stuff here. But yeah, these are the specs. It's still looking good. She liked it. Alright, so y'all have a good one.